what's, what's the law on street photography in the UK? Well, do you know what? Let's talk about it and let's do a bit. But pretty much as it is, is if you're in a public place, you can photograph, you can video. That's pretty much it. Oh, gee. Yeah. That was good. What can we, can't we, take photographs of in the UK? Uh, you could take photographs of whatever you want if you're in a public place. Some restrictions, uh, Official Secrets Act, will prevent you from taking pictures of certain um, high profile areas, um, certain things like um, a military base, for example. But other than that, if it's public, you can take photos. <laughs> What can't you, or should you not, in the way of common sense, take photographs of? Everybody is worried about terrorism in, in, in this day and age. Around the UK, there's plenty of sensitive um, locations. And if you start taking pictures of these locations, you're probably going to arouse some, some sort of suspicion. Um, and then more than likely be questioned, uh, obviously, by the police. One other thing to look, for, look to sort of think about as well is if you're constantly following the same person around, constantly taking photos, uh, this could be deemed as harassment or stalking imp implications. So yeah, uh, a lot of common sense is really needed. Can you use tripods and flash guns in public places? Uh, basically putting it, you, yes you can. I think common sense is going to be needed on here though. Uh, just for argument's sake, if you've got your flash set up that's pointing uh, down the road that could potentially flash in the driver's eyes, you know, it, it's one of those things that you've got to be careful on what you're doing. Same with your tripod. If you've got a tripod that's put up in a, a busy area, you know, it could potentially be a hazard. So common sense is going to be needed when using the equipment, but you, you're in your right to use it. You can't be stopped. When can a police officer stop you taking photographs in a public place? Uh, pretty simple, they can't. The only reasons that I think they can stop you is if you've committed another offence. Other than, other than that, they, they can't stop you, stop you taking photographs. Can a police officer seize your equipment? 
Um, no, they can't just come along and seize your equipment for taking photographs or even videos in a public place. Uh, there are some reasons where they could, but that means another offence would need to have been committed. For example, under terrorism laws. <laughs> guard stop you if you're on public land no if you're on private property uh, for example a shopping center then a security guard has very little power other than the power their normal powers that they have which would be to remove you from the premises they have no power to take equipment off of you to delete photos or anything they can just ask you to leave <music> How should you act when approached? The first thing you need to do is be polite because you want to try and defuse a situation from getting worse. And the thing that you need to remember as well is that the person you're talking to or challenging you might not or probably will not know the law. They may, count, they may make out what they do, but they actually probably don't. So just be polite. And even though if you're in a public place, you do not need to or necessarily need to move on, sometimes just judge your situation and just think, I'm just going to move on and just move on because it will just diffuse the situation and then you just carry on. Uh, but one of the things I would sort of suggest is not to get into an argument with, with anybody. Just be polite. <laughs> to delete photographs no nobody can force you to delete photographs there's uh, only under one circumstance where you can be forced to delete uh, photographs and that's with a court order not even a police officer can tell you to delete photographs but the thing is if a police officer approaches you he's not going to tell you to delete photographs if he's got suspicion under, under terrorism laws or anything like that that we've discussed earlier then he won't get you to delete them, your equipment will be seized. But like I say, that is under the, the situations that we spoke about earlier, like terrorism laws or your photographic military bases or something like that, um, your equipment will just be seized. They will never ask you to delete it. It's evidence. So, I mean, even if you're in a public place and you're approached by a security guard and you're photographing a shopping centre from the outside, if you're on a public uh, pathway or something they've got no power to get to delete the photographs none whatsoever and not even a police officer can come along and say delete just delete them to to save in arguments you do not have to there's only one person who or one situation where you could be forced to delete photographs and that's a court order So there you go guys, I hope that, that um, actually answers some of the, the common questions um, that get asked. These are questions that I've actually asked people to ask me regarding this. And I've got to say that there are some pretty good questions. <coughs> so um, yeah, um, so basically in the UK, you can video, you can photograph in a public place. And the thing is, I think the laws are quite, are the way that they are, purely because you can't have a total ban. Because if you were, then you wouldn't be able to photograph your friend. <sighs> you uh, sitting on a beach, you wouldn't be able to photograph your dad drinking his pint of beer. You, would, you know, this whole thing would just be, it'd be impossible to enforce. 
and I'm pretty sure a lot more people would mind more about that than actually being allowed to take photographs in the public place. So one of the things to do guys for when you're actually starting out doing this is literally just go out and enjoy yourself. Just make sure that you're, if you are challenged, you're polite. Just ask the questions. Are you in a public place or are you on private land? You may have got it wrong. Just always be polite. And the thing is as well is the location of where you are will have an impact on how much you are challenged. Here in Swanage, I very rarely get challenged. But if I was in London, I'm pretty, you're guaranteed you're going to get stopped at some point. But the same rules apply no matter where you are. So just don't give up. And one of the things that hopefully that today was to show is when you're doing street photography, start off with something that is going to reduce that risk of being challenged. It boosts your confidence so much. And that's why today that we did the Folk Festival, because I just looked like a normal tourist going around taking photographs and was not challenged. Well, actually, it's not true. I was challenged once, but that was I was asked whether I was an official photographer for the festival which I wasn't, <laughs> so I gave the lady the card and obviously, because that's what you do, you hand out your card, which is one thing I'd say to do, get yourself some business cards, because if you are challenged, hand them out. Um, so yeah, and hand the card and she can see the work. Um, I've got no problems with that, because the more people that see my work, the better. So I hope that does clear up a few questions and uh, I hope it does help you. Get out there and do it. So thanks for watching this, guys. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button to watch more of this content. And if you've liked this video, give us that thumbs up. Makes me helps me to know what you like and dislike. <laughs> but anyway, till the next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you soon.